Hey, oh, my fantastic friends, coin collectors, art lovers, big cup lovers across the world and across the coin tubiverse. It's me, Master Temple. It's till raiding day today, and I'm absolutely over the moon. We've got a great stack of coins, a proper stack. We've got 22 quids worth of two quid coins, and eight pound fifty worth of fifty p's. Let's show you, book, what we're up to, where we're up to. We need Commonwealth. England and Scotland but we've got the big one boys and girls the Olympics underground train and the roundel and the two Britannias and we've got everything else for the 50 P's because we're doing both in in one folder in one go we need suffragettes in queue that's gonna be a bit tricky in it that's gonna be well tricky but we've done it before some uh, some Obviously some Olympics, some more Olympics, some more Olympics, and Mrs. Duck herself, Jemima. And then that's it, that's your lot. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got. And guess what good news, folks? Old Piglet is back. He's back from, from his holidays up, uh, up on top of wardrobe. <laughs> Right, so let's have a look at 50 p's and I've got some great beauties. If anybody has been following me on Instagram or Facebook, they'll see some of the beauties I've got in here. And let's have a look at two quids. And various shops, we've got them from uh, takeaways, corner shops, fast in the post office when I went to post something for a friend. Or to a friend, not for a friend. And uh, yeah just brilliant times brilliant times and some Olympics we've got as well I'll let you know that now so let's have a look at 50 P's now obviously we won't keep all these some some will be going into Piglet some will be going into my collection tin and hopefully some will go in album well I tell you there will be a few that go in album today folks so 2017 let's see if we can get a bit of a, a bit of a focus on We've got Jeremy Fisher to start us off. The starter for 10, Jeremy Fisher. We don't need him, so he can go in Piglet. Next one up, Team GB. Again, I don't think we need him. No, we don't. So he's probably a Piglet find. 2005. Old dictionary, of course it is. Mind the state of my fingers and thumbs. I've been, uh, I've been busy doing metal work today. Which reminds me, I've got a Belt River video coming up shortly. An epic metalwork video, which I'm quite pleased at. So, 2007, come back you. A great shiny, very nice. Scouts. I think Keith Cake gave me that. Kiosk Keith. 2007, ah, another Scouts there, in a bit dimmer condition. Right now, this is <laughs> this is one some some of you may have seen on on Instagram. I got this from Chinese Takeaway. It's the old wounded sh uh, soldier, and it looks really, really beaten up, really beaten up. Yeah. What's the, still, it'll go in piglet. Now, what we got here? 2019. We've got our friend Team Cathedral, and we're for that one. We're the Team cathedral kind of people over here, you know. 19 again, 2019, of course. It's Mr. Tower. And we get another Tower. So Cathedral's winning. Right. 19. Old Sherlock. Surely not. Right, look at this one. Look at the date on that. I've been super happy lately with these. Archery. Paralympic. I'm going to try and get you into focus here. Get them out of the way. Come on. Nah. There we go. Boom. Jobs are good in. Needed to zoom in. Me and my silly camera. So they can see little sign, little symbol at top. 
slightly different to the Olympic one. So this means it's a Paralympic coin. And there's five of these Paralympic coins in with a set. Right, next one up. We'll stay focused in. 2018. Bit of condensation on old Queen Lizzie's face there. We've got a people act. And it looks like it's got the big packet error on this one. And if you don't know what it is, go look it up. Because I'm not telling thee. 2017. Come back. There we go. Come back. Taylor Peter Gabito. Uh, yes, here we go. Look at this, folks. I told you we had some winners. I told you we had some winners. We've got the Blue Peter bloke jumping over a stick. And if you see the the sign, the the, the logo. Where's the other one gone? Let's take the look. They're both slightly different. Both slightly different. But they're two belters. Keep us in anyone's books. Now let's have a look at these. I'm trying to have a look, see what see which ones we need to pick out next. <laughs> Peter Rabbit, 2016. That came from Morrison's uh, lottery counter. 2016, this came from work. And it's none other than the duck. What a find that is. What a find. What a find. And last but not least of the 50p's. Another 2011. What we got? What we got? Woohoo! We've got sword fated. Fencing. So yeah, some absolute stuff. Let me try and zoom out without work. We there we go right so obviously we'll have a look at them I don't think we need any of them so they'll go on in piglet they'll all go in the piglet we'll get them out of the way we'll pop them in the piglet in a moment oh let's have a look at two quick coins we'll zoom in a bit again for these Yay, big zoomage Right, uh, some belters in here. Some belters, I tell thee. First off, rugby. Rugby World Cup from 1999. Does it have the 999 error? And there, well, I can hardly tell. I can hardly tell it's got out on. But anyway, we don't need him. Next up, the act for the abolition of the slave trade. Nice coin, we don't need that one. Again, this is the uh, the Marconi Wireless Transmissions one. A very nice coin, very nice, but we don't need that one. Another abolition of the slave trade with the uh, with the orange peel with the orange peel uh, texture. Florence Nightingale. Absolutely stunning coin. What a stunner that is. But high mintage, I'm afraid. What we got here? Oh, this is this is one that caught my attention. Come on, focus in. And you see, it's got a bit of ghosting around the old queen's head. Been double stamped on its head, I think. I, I don't know how they caused that, but it's a Charles Dickens. I might swap this out for the one we've got in the book, just because of that. Because of that ghost, you know, whatever the whatever they call it. So we'll put him safe up there. Right, we've got several coins left. What's this? 2009. What a year for coinage that was. And it's it's Robert Burns. Old Lang Syne. So he's not a bad keeper. Now look at this one. What's this one? It's 2000 and we can't tell, can we? It's gonna be 2015 plus. And it's the skull. So it says 2016 down here, just under the bottom of the skull. And it does not have, unfortunately, the army, the army edge inscription, unfortunately. But it's still a keeper. Finding a lot of these, and in fact, when I went to Morrison's and I got a couple of the coins from Morrison's, the lady at the checkout says she's had an absolute ton of those skulls lately. 
Right, I think we're into Belter Territory now. Belter Territory. Let's have a look at this one. Boom! The Olympic Centenary. Not my favourite coin by any stretch of the imagination. It just looks like a couple of lines and some some letters and numbers get on it. In fact, it looks like a guitar with its fretboard and, and strings. But still, oh, the mintage on that is, is so desirable. And I can't remember where I got that. I think I got that one from the Chinese takeaway as well. Now, two here. I'll show you these two. These came from Premier. I got them both together. I've got a few. I've put them to one side for me. They look absolutely stunning. And they're the Magna Carta. Now, our bags and bags of these being released in 2015. They're in absolutely pristine condition. The camera doesn't do it justice. I'm going to swap these out for for the one in the book. They're so sharp as well on the on the edges. So they're nice. Now the final coin, the final coin I've got. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? It's another Olympic. It's the Beijing Andover. Perfect. Oh, what a what a score that is, folks. What a score. The edge inscription for this is, I, what is it? I call upon the youth of the world. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Right, so we've got a good few, a good handful there. Give me a minute and we'll have a mint book and we'll have a bit of a catch up in a, in a couple of seconds. Great, we're back again, folks. So, album time. We still need those, that, but look at this. Golden Sunrise, and I think Premier have paid off, paid off dividends this week. Well, it's been about 10 days worth of collected, but we still need those. But we're making some real progress on the, uh, the few Olympics and Paralympics. Still a big void there, though. But this is the best bit when we get to the back and we've got... Miss Puddle Duck in there, who actually looks like a goose. So, is she a goose? Is she a duck? Is she a Puddle Duck? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rabbiting on. I'm just rabbiting on. But, whoop. I took out the Magna Carters. I took out the Magna Carters, and they, uh, the, the one that I took out seems to be in quite good condition as well. Not as good as this, but... But still, uh, we'll keep the Robbie Burns to one side for now. Oh, we didn't need, we did not need fencing, Olympic fencing. So that'll go in with pile with, with likes of wrestling and basketball and others that um, as a secondary spare set of a spare set, I suppose. And then we're keeping Skull as well. So we've got some keepers there. These will go back into, into circulation. Piglet's getting full. <laughs> again <laughs> right so thanks for watching my friends do take care i'll see you all later and as always happy days <laughs>